guys, it is Sunday, February 18th, and it is late in the day. It's like 6.25. I'm about to go eat dinner. I've spent the day chatting with friends, catching up on daily drawings, um, updating the website, uh, chatting with um, Heart Journal Magazine, blah, 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 stuff, 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 stuff. <laughs> so the day has just whizzed by, and I haven't... Yeah, I'm just now filming this. So anyway, it's been a productive day um, and yet a relaxing day. I don't know how the two of those go together, but they do. Anyway, probably because I was chatting with friends on Zoom while I was doing all of that stuff. Um, so that's today. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, it is Monday. It's President's Day. The husband is home. I think we're going to go out and try to do something fun. I don't know if we're going to go to the beach or and head out like to Santa Cruz or if we're going to go to the movies or I'm not sure yet, but I'll let y'all know what I know. All right, I'll be back. So we are in Milpitas, California. Yep. And we're headed to the Great Mall today because we want to get out of the house. Not we're, the good mall. The great, great mall. mall. It's yeah. The greatest mall. We're too the great mall. <laughs> and we're two big couch potatoes, so if you give us half an inch, we'll just sit on the couch all day. So we thought that was probably not a good idea. So we would go out and go walk around the mall and yep. maybe buy a few things we don't really need, you know. Yeah. Stuff like that. So if we see anything funny or interesting, we'll take you with us. Eat food we're not hungry for. Yeah. Buy, buy stuff we don't need. We need a pretzel, don't we? We should always get a pretzel. I know, I like always pretzels. Get a pretzel. Yeah. All right, so we'll be yes, back. She's not like waiting for a parking space no, or anything. She's just double parked behind other people. Unbelievable. taking a pretzel break then we'll keep going fun but we're tired time to go home yeah if we had to deal with one more line of like 50 or more people or one more screeching child I think we were gonna <sighs> go off the deep end but we got some good bargains on clothing that we didn't really need but it was really nice for both of us and I also found some really fun gel pens at the Daiso store here 
everyone in my area seems to carry slightly different stuff. So anyway, they seem comparable to the ones I got at Muji. So we're going to play with them later on when I get home. Anyway, we're going to go do that. Go home. I'll be back. It is Tuesday, Fe February 20th. I only know that because I had to sign for something at the mailbox. <laughs> um, and it is after lunch. I need to eat some lunch. I spent the whole morning um, chatting with my friends, the Zoomers, while I was creating sticker sheets. I know you're like, what? You I can't see anything there. Hold on. Hold on, because I'm not prepared. So I took my feather design that you've all seen and I created a phrase to go with it and you can now get in my Etsy shop this sheet is um, five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches tall full of feathers and the phrase they're all cut printed on adhesive paper and ready to go and so I figured out how to do that this morning and got that all worked out I um, I'm so happy because that's something I've wanted to do for a long time. And I'm going to bring you with me, walk with me. And because um, I need to eat some lunch. I have a few um, cards and things I um, want to share. One of them is from New Year's. So that's kind of bad. I'm going to sit down over here because there's one out here somewhere. I have, to I have to find it. We're out in the library space of my house. And let's see, somebody, there it is. Um, okay, so I got 
Um, we're going to do this one first. So Stephanie Parks, who is a fan, a subscriber here on YouTube and a fan, a friend, sends me regular emails and everything. And she sent me this beautiful um, card uh, at New Year's. It's been sitting on my desk for, obviously, for a while. And this is a photograph of one of her pieces of art. Really great. Thank you, Stephanie. I so appreciate the card. It's going to go in this uh, box right here where I keep all the stuff that you guys sent me. Um, I got this one recently from my friend Barbara Clark for Valentine's Day. This is a card that she made and she I included some little bits and pieces in it which are over on my really messy art table and I am I have already used some of them so I love that. Love to get happy mail. Um, this one is from Shirley Williams. And I think, does it have, yeah, it has an ATC card in it. Again, this is a Valentine's Day card that she made for me. And it included this really pretty ATC card with a note on the back. Thank you so much. It's so pretty. And I have a smaller box that the ATC cards go in. And since you signed this one, that's where that's going to go. And the card will go in this big box. And then this one is from, if I'm not mistaken... Um, Laura, I'm sorry, Connie Kruger, and Connie is the one that made the ceramic pot, pots uh, that are hanging on my wall above my desk that I put the feathers in that I shared a few weeks back when I was rearranging my room. She's the one who made those, which I couldn't remember at the time. If I can find a picture of them, I'll include it here. Um, there are these cute little ceramic pots on some uh, ribbon that I stuck some of my feather collection in. And because um, I, I said in the vlog, I couldn't remember who sent them to me. I wasn't sure. So she sent me a, a card with this really nice note. And look at this beautifully doodled card. Look at that. I do not have the patience for that most of the time. But look at that. That's great. So I really do appreciate all the cards that you all send me, just so you know. I do save them, and they go in my boxes or a journal or something somewhere. Uh, I even have one of these old Seven Gypsy, oops, where does ATC things right there. Um, so yeah, I've got a few places they can go. So that's it for right now. I um, need to eat some lunch because I'm starving, and I probably should drink some water because I haven't had any in a while. And we got the sticker thing worked out. So woohoo! That like took all morning, but I'm so glad it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I was going to chuck the silhouette portrait, um, which is what the cutter is that I have, um, because I bought it thinking it would be more useful and it just wasn't. And then it dawned on me this morning, I wonder if, and yes, I can. So yay. Look for more of those coming soon to the Etsy shop. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. Hey guys, <clears throat> it is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. <laughs> I think it's the 21st. And I'm um, obviously in the car again, headed over to get the mail. And um, I've spent the morning after I got my steps in, which I did do, um, working on new um, stencil designs, doing some redrawing and some drawing of some things. And brainstorming with one of my design team members, which is fabulous to bounce ideas off of the team when you have a good one that you can trust. Um, so I've been doing that all morning. I was up until kind of late last night creating more of the new stickers that I showed you all already yesterday. I have another set. I have another set um, that I cut a few of them out last night. They cut beautifully once I figured out what I was doing, which took all morning yesterday, um, figuring out how to use the equipment I have to do what I wanted. Once I figured that out, then the rest is cake. And so now I'm just waiting on packaging to come in and I need to design a backer card for the stickers, something that'll work in everything. And so I do have the feathers already up for sale, even though I don't have packaging ready. And the other set will be in soon. And here's a sneak for all of you. It's called Be a Wildflower. And it's sort of watercolor inspired. So I hope you all like it. If I have a picture, I can insert it like here somewhere. 
So I'm going to go get the mail. I've got to uh, ship some Etsy orders and some happy mail and then I am going to work this afternoon on trying to finish the journal page that's on my desk. I shared a picture of my messy desk on um, social media yesterday and I think I shared it in the clip I filmed yesterday. Anyway, I'm gonna try to finish the journal page that's on my desk at some point, but I also need to um, design that packaging and, while I'm waiting for the bags to come in and I need to work on some more stencil designs and um, I have some digis too that I need to do um, that might actually work for another sticker set so I really need to finish them because <laughs> um, I may be able to do like both so anyway uh, that's it I think for the moment I have a big bag of stuff here I need to go get over there and I think there's some packages waiting for me to pick up at least one and uh, that's it for the moment I'll be back hey everybody it's time to color my hair again can you tell uh, it's been a crazy morning I um, got up a bit early right after the husband left for work he left leaves at 6 30 in the morning because I needed to finish some stencil designs I started working on last night. And of course my mouse, uh, my Mac was dead, which meant plugging it in and then I got that fixed. And then the Mac didn't want to recognize the printer and then ugh, took way longer than it should have, but it's done. So 10 new designs are off to be checked and prototyped. There's one I think I might have to redraw. Well, I'm gonna see what Mike Deacon says and we'll find out because um, he helps me out with that. Anyway, what else did I do? I don't think I did anything else. I started a little laundry. Um, and we have somebody coming over tonight that we're meeting with, my husband and I, and so I forgot about that, so I need to clean the house. And <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go to the grocery store. I haven't done that yet. Uh, we've got two new sticker designs. Both are in the Etsy shop. The um, packaging for them I printed last night. For now, I'm going to print it at home. Um, I have plenty of ink right now. I'm just thinking. I don't think I need ink. Um, I've got, I know, a couple of empty cartridges on my desk, but there's more ink in the drawer. Uh... I'm thinking like I'm forgetting something. I don't know what it is. It's gone. I don't know. So we're going to go to the grocery store. Maybe I'll remember while I'm there. <laughs> you never know. Um, I am going to start filming, hopefully, March commitments today. Um, if not today, tomorrow. Because uh, now I have to clean the house. So if I don't start filming them today, I'm going to start filming them tomorrow. I want to get, to get them done by, like, Tuesday next week. So... I can edit them and get them loaded to YouTube. And um, that's it for the moment. I am going to head over to the grocery store and I'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It is Friday morning, February 23rd, I think. Pretty sure, maybe. Anyway, I'm sitting out here in our library area and uh, getting my stuff together. I've got to go out and of course go get the mail as per usual. I do that every day. Um, I also have some Etsy orders to send out and I've been a filming maniac this morning trying to get all of March filmed for my commitment videos for my creative year, explorations of me, my giant life. On I'm working on the last one for my giant life and uh, it is more complicated than the others because it involves doing a bit letting it dry doing a bit letting it dry so that always takes longer to film because I don't like to necessarily always speed up the drying time with the heat gun um, it's easier sometimes to um, just let it go so I'm gonna do that right now I'm gonna let it go and let things dry and then I'll go back and I should be able to get the rest of it finished uh, filmed before um, Everybody comes home and or, and or over tonight. It's family um, dinner and game night. And so we're going to do that. And tomorrow we have to take the dog, uh, Mr. Poopy Pants, <laughs> to, uh, to uh, the vet. Uh, it's time for a checkup and to get his nails clipped and stuff like that. He needs a couple of vaccinations. 
and um, we have a, our meeting was rescheduled from last night until tomorrow, so we have that when we get home. And um, I think that's pretty much it. It's going to be a quiet weekend this weekend. Um, the next weekend after this, we have a lot of stuff going on. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I am going to go get the mail. Hopefully they're done sorting at least some of the mail. Um, so I don't have to go back later. But the kids are coming over for dinner, so I could always ask them, Hey, can you stop and get the mail on your way over? Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> All right, that's it for right now. I'll be back. gonna calm the pooch down all right hey guys did you hear that calm the pooch down bandits in the back you probably won't see him because I think he's too old to get up on the seat yeah um, he's on the floor back there squished on the floor and I said we should we should uh, put on some classical music because holy what, crap what's the guy with? he's got a pillow oh no it's a bag hopefully it's not all like going to our house that's the mailman the mailman has I think that's the most packages or anything I've seen the mailman around here carry ever. He's early uh, too. It's like 10 o'clock. He's no really one's... early for Saturday. It's yeah. only 9.50 in the morning. And we're watching him because I'm really hoping none of those. Nope, none of Because all of my packages should be going to Postal Annex. So anyway, um, fun fact. All right, so oh, we're. So anyway, we're heading to the. We're uh, headed to the vet, right? We're heading to the vet and we should put on some nice classical music because. He's going to get stressed out. What's that? What's that saying? Music hath charm to soothe the savage pooch. <laughs> I don't think that's exactly how it goes, but Music okay. Music hath charm to soothe the savage. savage I think it's savage beast. Beast, yeah. <laughs> I think beast. it's a beast. So anyway, so we're headed out to the vet's office. You savage and beast pooch. You then we have beast. meetings later today, and you a savage beast. Mm -hmm. I think some unexpected finance stuff we're going to try to take care of, and. I've got Stuff a like that. ton of video to edit for you guys here on YouTube and, you know, the normal laundry and stuff. So, anyway, that's what we're up to today. How about you guys? What are you up to? Hope you're having a good day. We will let you know how it goes at the vet's office if I get any... If anything cute happens, I'll try to catch it on camera. Looks like they painted that house over there. Yeah, there's a lot of... A lot of oh, stuff need, a, need a desk? No. <laughs> it's a free desk. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go take care of that and I'll be back. Okay. So it's been a busy morning. It's 2.10. I just got the mail and I got my shipment from clearbags.com. So I'm able to finish packing up the new sticker designs and um, print and cut some more and get them listed in Etsy. So by the time you all see this, hopefully that's done. So check the Etsy shop for the new sticker sets. And um, yeah, we had our meeting today that went well. Um, my husband's on the phone with another business and financial phone call that we need to make. Or he needs to make. And um, I'm going to go home and see if he's in the middle of that and what's going on with that and then after that I think we can just chill and relax we might go out to dinner um we don't have anywhere we have to be and we might not want to cook so yeah all right and I think that's it for the moment I can't think of anything else that's going on today random weird guy hanging out in front of the church yeah that was weird I have some um, three more small mystery boxes listed in the Etsy shop I'm gonna include some video footage here of me packing them 
They're filled with ephemera and some old artwork of mine, some paper punches, um, paper punch storage bags. Each box has one bag in it. Um, and I, I show packing them up in the footage that you're watching right now. They are for sale. I'm anxious to sell them. I also have a lot of original art and some other things that are on sale for really fabulous prices in my Etsy shop. They have to go. I need to uh, unload a bunch of stuff. So go over to the Etsy shop and take a look. I hate to always lately be having a sales pitch in my videos, but people, I've got too much finished artwork. It's got to go. All right. So that's it for the moment. Um, the day, the week. Uh, I hope you all have had a great week and continue to have a great weekend. Um, what is my neighbor doing? I don't know if they know what they're doing. Holy cow. Um, driving backwards down the street because that's what we do. Anyway, um, have a great day, week, weekend. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And just go out and be a decent human being. It doesn't cost you anything, but you might brighten somebody's day. All right, that's it for the moment. I just pulled up into my driveway. I will see you in the next vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.